Just then, Naruto suddenly receives some unexpected news. Gara, who once competed ruthlessly at the Chunin exam and now served as the Kazakage, had been abducted by a member of the Akatsuki. The Akatsuki had a plan to extract the tailed beasts from the Jinchuriki, such as Naruto and Gara, to use them for their own nefarious purposes. To rescue Gara, Naruto and his friends attacked an Akatsuki hideout. There, Naruto found Deidara, who had abducted Gara, along with Gara's lifeless body, which had had Shikaku ripped from it. Naruto chased after Deidara, and they engaged in battle in the forest. Understanding the agony Gara must have endured, Naruto erupted in a violent rage against the barbaric Akatsuki. Give me back Gara! <laughs> Bring it if you can. You. I can never forgive you! Strange Jinchuriki. And this Gara character. I've never seen a Jinchuriki as beloved as he is. Hmm. You can't forsake one of your own kind, can you? I'm connected to this pathetic creature. I'm gonna mess you up. Bring it if you can. I'm ready to rock. <laughs> Not too bad. I'm gonna win! Let's go! You have got no fight. I'm ready to run. With the help of friends, he drove Deidara off and recovered Gara's body. There was no one, however, who could bring him back from death. Why Gara? Why is it always him? Calm down, Naruto Uzumaki. Shut up! If you say a ninja hadn't put that monster in Gara, none of this would have happened! Did you ever consider what Gara thought? Did you ever even ask? You call him a Jinchuriki? Who are you to decide that fate for someone else? Naruto wailed in grief. Moved by this display, Granny Chio, a prominent figure in the hidden sand, gave her own life to bring Gara back from the dead.
She did this because of her faith in the ability of the young to change the future. Naruto. Lady Chio entrusted the future to you and Gara. It was a death befitting a ninja. Yeah, same as the old man, the third Hokage. Recalling that the third Hokage had held the same sentiments, Naruto resolved to carry that hope forward. 